When the global financial crisis hit in 2008, Latvia was already highly vulnerable. A massive boom in credit, asset prices, wages and government spending had resulted in current account deficits exceeding 20% of GDP. The bust that followed was deep and painful. To help the country overcome the crisis, the government committed to a tough reform program, supported by an international rescue package worth 7.5 billion euro. I think many people had doubts uh, that it would work. It's a very difficult, very ambitious program, but the government was committed. I mean, it, it took time, there was a change in government, but that, when the new government came in, it was committed, and yes, it made the program work. I remember back in spring of 2009, when the dark clouds seemed to be just impenetrable. And in that sense, uh, it's, I think, a great boost for Latvian confidence that we can achieve difficult things because the future holds a lot of challenges for Latvia, both in terms of demographics, in terms of unemployment that we have to overcome. So how did Latvia manage to turn its economy around? The government delivered massive fiscal adjustment, 15% of GDP in a two to three years. So they took advantage of the package, but they delivered on the, on the measures, on the policy adjustment. I believe uh, not only Latvia, I think Estonian example shows that the front loading in first year, uh, giving the bulk or bringing the bulk of expenditure cuts, it really pays off because then the markets calm down. Otherwise, markets are uncertain. Well, you know, it, it shows uh, an important alternative, whether to go very strong, cold turkey, on adjustment up front, hoping to gain confidence again, or to wait and go through the steady, uh, credible path that actually is advocated by the IMF. So Latvia is seen, by some at least, as an example of how to claw back lost competitiveness and restore public finances through what's known as internal devaluation, leaving the exchange rate untouched and instead achieving the necessary adjustment by bringing costs in the economy, including wages, back in line with productivity. The most important lesson is that fixed adjustment under a fixed exchange rate can be done. In principle, it can be done. Uh, and, and that's an immense success. However, it's, it's painful. There was a huge recession in Latvia. Output fell by 20-25% from its peak. Unemployment increased. So it was a painful and difficult path which, which they chose. The Baltic experience has many particular conditions under which uh, it has been uh, considered a success. But beyond the uh, details, uh, the meaning of the Baltic experience, uh, I think, is going to impact on the euro area. Because basically it shows that at the end of the day, there is one instrument left to correct imbalances. And the instrument is fiscal consolidation and correcting imbalances through uh, an intervention on prices and wages. I think markets will punish the countries which are living beyond its means and trying to spend the future generation's income. So, therefore, we believe the public finances have to be in order. If you don't have a commitment, I think uh, markets will always doubt and always will speculate against you and you will not see any, any green shoots. Today, Latvia is one of the fastest growing economies in the European Union, but plenty of challenges remain. Well, despite these successes, it's still one of the poorest countries in the European Union. So we need to raise living standards. That will require growth, but sustained growth, uh, not running into trade balance or current account deficit problems like they did in the past. I think also um, in income inequality, poverty, Latvia has one of the highest rates of inequality in the European Union. So better targeting of social benefits to the really poorest people will help uh, address that problem. Unemployment too, 15%, that's still too high. Now that balanced economic growth has been restored, Latvia has turned its attention to fulfilling an ambition that's guided its economic policy for years adopting the euro. Latvia recovered its independence only 20 years ago and the desire to join the West was the driving force behind the independence movement. So anything that seems to push us away from that clearly is going to be something that, that, that people are going to be very concerned about. And in that sense, uh, setting the euro as a goal, saying that we want to do this to maintain our place in the European Union, in the Western European society, is a very powerful motivator for people. Certainly, your introduction as an exit strategy uh, from the current situation and putting all the crisis um, experience behind is very crucial for Latvia so that the chapter of the crisis could be completely closed. Pegging to the euro and the goal of euro adoption 
has been a key motivator for the, throughout the program. And joining the euro is much more stable, much better than having a peg to the euro. There's no risk then of speculative attack or things like that. Also, once you join the euro, interest rates should come down and, and set the way for, for growth. So yes, they should still go for that, uh, for that strategy. There is much uncertainty in Europe today, but Latvia is keeping firm on its commitment to the European Union as its economic recovery takes hold.